Assalamualaikum and very good day to all of you. So today is our first session with the online class uh, video. Okay. So our so in chapter one, we're gonna cover about the properties of treats. Okay. So basically, in this chapter, it's more like uh, introduction about the character or the properties of the fluid okay and a little bit about the equation or formula that might be related to the fluids well this is the learning outcomes that I expect for all of you to achieve at the end of this chapter the first one is uh, you'll be able to identify the basic of SI unit well, this one is not that uh, hard because that the SI unit topic is most, uh, mostly covered in most of the subject. Okay. And the second one is you'll be able to define uh, some of the properties or parameter which is very related to the three, such as compressibility, pressure, density, specific weight, specific gravity and relationship between force and mass and last one okay uh, after you learn about all of these properties all of these parameters and formulas you'll be able to solve the problem using all those relationship okay This is the subtopic or syllabus that we're going to cover in this chapter. Well, it looks a lot, but don't worry. I'll try to make it simple for you to understand easily. Well, as I mentioned it earlier, I'm going to break the chapter into a few different parts. Uh, in total, there are seven different parts. Okay, The first part, we're going to cover about the subtopic about what is fluid. So this part is very easy. It's just kind of introduction about what is fluid. Okay, and the second one is about uh, the equation or formula about force and mass. So how can the concept of force and mass, which is can be related with the uh, fluid mechanics. And that's Third part is about pressure, okay. And the next one is about compressibility, and part five is about the basic formula or basic equation, which is usually uh, or commonly used to refer about the fluid properties, which is density, weight, and specific gravity. And part one, sorry, part six is about surface tension. Well, again, this is uh, due to the properties of the fluid or the character of the fluids. Okay. And last one is part seven is about Newtonian and non-Newtonian. Okay. Okay, let's begin with the part one, which is about what is fluid. When we are talking about fluid, okay, actually there's only two categories, okay. Fluid is referring to the liquid and gases, okay. But however, what is the difference between liquids and gases? Okay, let's learn what is the difference between liquid and gas. Let's begin with liquid first, okay. So... First of all, uh, can you imagine that you are pouring a cup, uh, sorry, you're pouring a tea or coffee into a cup, okay, so it may look like this, okay, so the will, liquid will go down and it will form a free surface on the top layer, okay, so of course the liquid will take the shape of the container it is being placed, okay, and it will form a free surface in the presence of gravity. So it will form free surface like this. Okay, you can see at the top here is a free surface. Okay, at the top here. Okay, so 
So it won't be happen like this if you pour it on the moon. Why? Because on the moon, we don't have a gravity force. Okay, now let's have a look at the gas. For gas, uh, it's hard to see, but it exists. You just imagine that you just blow um, a balloon. Okay, so the gas will expand until it encounters the wall of the balloon and it fills entire available space. And gases also, uh, will be not like, we will not similar like liquid in which that liquid will form a free space. But gases will not form a free surface, okay? Because it will fill up the area, okay? Fill up the container or anything which is being replaced into. And so usually, uh, the gas is also referred as vapor. Well, here is the quick summary, the difference between liquid and gas. So, we know that the liquid <coughs> cannot be compressed or is hardly to compress. So, we call it as a category of incompressible. And as I mentioned in the previous slide, it, is, uh, it will take the shape of the container it's been placed. And it is also will form a free surface in the presence of gravity. Well, in difference to gas, the gas can be easily to compress, yeah, and it will change its volume depending on the pressure. The harder the pressure, uh, then it will react toward the pressure, and it has no fixed volume. It will change volume uh, to expand it to fill in the containing vessel and lastly it will no free surface will form when we treat uh, gas the next one is the power plant so how can the knowledge about the fluid mechanics can be applied in power plant okay so this is the things that uh, involved or related to fluid mechanic and about the boats here how can the boats flow uh, or how can the boat moves on the ocean okay aircraft and spacecraft human bodies and cars okay and there's a lot more application of the fluid mechanics in our life Okay, and also, uh, if one day you will be become an engineer, okay, you will see or you will explore that, uh, you know, some of the fluid mechanics knowledge is also applied in wind turbines, piping and plumbing system, industri or in industrial application. The most which is related to you is the the one with the piping and plumbing system and for the industrial application. That's all. See you in the next part.